Hi, and thanks for your interest in this course. I'm very excited to provide this information to you because I believe that the combination of PostGIS and QGIS amounts to an open source killer app in the GIS world. It can save you a lot of time and frustration and your company a lot of money. In this course, you will learn a little background about spatial databases in general, just to make sure that we're all on the same page. I'm going to attempt to answer questions like, what exactly is a spatial database? Why would you want to use one? What is SQL? And where does the spatial database actually live? I'm going to show you how to install PostgreSQL, PostGIS, and QGIS on a local computer for development purposes. Later on in the course, I'll also show you how to work with PostGIS installed remotely on a web server or in the cloud. But setting up PostGIS for your local company's internet is beyond the scope of this course. You'll need to work with your organization's IT staff if you want to implement it that way. But once it is set up, I'll show you how to access it from various clients. I'll demonstrate several ways to load both spatial and non-spatial data into the database, and provide a sample data set so you can practice on your own and follow along. And once we have the data loaded, we will begin writing SQL queries to request information from the database, design tables, add and update data, and create your own custom functions. You will also learn how to write SQL queries that return geometries based on spatial relationships, such as give me all of the raptor nests that are within 400 meters of a pipeline right away, along with a survey history. I'm going to show you how to create new user roles, assign them to groups, and control what privileges each group has to create new database objects and view or modify existing data. This will give database administrators fine-tuned control over what each user is allowed to do in the database, down to the field level. You will learn to write your own custom functions and triggers that execute in response to database events. This will allow you to implement your own business logic, validate your data, and automate common processes. I will show you how to optimize your queries, take steps to ensure your data's integrity, backup and restore data, and other tasks to ensure that your database runs fast and smoothly. And you'll learn a lot more as well. Now if this sounds like useful information, please go to udemy.com at u-d-e-m-y dot com and search for PostGIS. There are a few other PostGIS courses available, so make sure that you sign up for the one called Introduction to Spatial Databases with PostGIS and QGIS. Feel free to check out the others too, but I promise you that mine's the best. No, actually, I can't really promise that. I believe it is, but I'm biased. I can, however, promise you that mine is the newest, at least, and uses the latest software, such as PostgreSQL 10.1, PostGIS 2.4, and QGIS 3.0. Right now the course is 10 hours long, but I'm still adding a few lectures, and it will eventually be 12 or 13 hours. You can get it all for only $20 if you use the discount code COURSE5. So thanks again for your interest. I hope you'll find the course informative, and maybe even a little bit entertaining.